I'm gonna talk about this from a practical and also experiential perspective on whether or not masturbating just by itself without watching any porn, but how to masturbate in a way that actually can be helpful. Hey guys, Benji here, helping you quit porn for good and achieve more in your life, whatever you want. You want more money, you want a better body, better health, better relationships, better sex. You can have that all with the practice of quitting porn, no fap, semen retention, so that you can have better focus, more confidence, and better drive. So this is a very common question that a lot of people ask uh, in our groups and also when I'm working with people one-on-one, -on -one, can I just masturbate uh, and experience that, that climax and that pleasure without associating that with pornography? To answer this question, let me ask you two really important questions. Number one is how do you feel after you masturbate? What is your feeling? In most cases, what men feel, and women as well, feel after masturbating is a sense of deflation, literally and <laughs> emotionally deflation, meaning that you masturbate, you're feeling your emotional state, it becomes, ah, oh, I did it again. The cycle continues, especially when you're early on in your sexual um, arousal journey, especially if you remember when you were a teenager, the feeling after masturbation, masturbating is very scared, even disgusted, even like, like I've done something terrible, I've sinned, I've committed a, a grave sin or something like that. And usually that feeling of tremendous guilt kind of weans off and, and dies off over time. And that is a clear indication that the act of masturbating has become more and more of a emotional crutch and also an addiction so that it becomes less, you become less, uh, less sensitive to it and more desensitized. So ask yourself, how do you feel after masturbating? Do you feel, I'm on top of the world, I'm ready to work out and start a business and go on a date and make a difference in the world? I'm willing to bet no. In most cases, it's always a sense of deflation. The second important question you should ask yourself is, does masturbating, even without pornography, is it something that you want to bring with you into the future? All right, like I just men mentioned, masturbating is an addictive behavior. It is very addictive because of the stimulation, right? Sexual Sexuality is is addictive, it's, it's arousing, right? And especially as, if you're um, masturbating to a specific pornographic content or even through fantasy, my question for you is, is that habit and that addiction something that you want to bring with you into your future? Is that something you want to bring with you into your relationships, into your marriage? Is this something you want to bring with you even after you have children? Is this something you want to bring with you into your working, uh, your working career? Something you want to bring with you into your schoolwork, into your your day to day life. If the answer is yeah, you want to bring with you, then okay, I guess it's okay to masturbate. But at the same time, most people, no, I'm willing to bet it's not something that you want to rely on, but rather you want to have control over your your sexuality as opposed to having it control you. So overall, is it okay to masturbate without porn? You can do it. It's okay. But you can ask yourself and be honest if it's something that you want to do and bring with you and is it something that's already affecting you in a negative way and you do you really want to live your life like that the big caveat here is that the vast majority of people who are masturbating are also associating that with pornography meaning they're watching pornography they're creating a very strong sexual imprint of pornography and the problem with that is that when you do become have that s strong sexual imprinting when you're masturbating to a specific kind of content whether pornographic or fantasizing then you become addicted to that content and then you become less and less uh, attracted to actual sex and relationship and you become actually desensitized to a real relationship because you've relied so heavily on masturbating to that pornographic content. So if you're in the vast majority of people who are masturbating to porn, my recommendation for, for all of you is to disassociate porn and masturbation, to completely uh, unlink them and disconnect them. In this way, you can actually start to wean off the porn addiction and just if you're going to masturbate and you decide to masturbate, just do it for the sake of of masturbating as an act and try not to fantasize or associate that with anything. That sexual imprinting that I'm talking about is very strong. This is usually why people, especially nowadays, develop very interesting and unique fetishes and addictions is because typically people are exposed to content when they're very young or they've exposed to content that is very graphic and very extreme and aggressive and they masturbate to that. Even very strange things like like a water bottle or 
or or anything, you can become sexually imprinted to that because of the act of having the sexual stimulus of masturbating to that. My personal experience and advice as a man who is married for now 11 years and we have kids, children, is that masturbation is not something that is conducive to a healthy family relationship or life, career, etc. Whatever you want in your life, whatever you want to achieve, it's generally not con conducive. And I believe that the purpose of sexuality, the perfect purpose of sex drive is to give, not to receive. It's to be selfless with your sexuality and not selfish. And the more we are selfless in giving to our, your, our spouse, your wife, the more that your sexuality becomes actually more intense and more beautiful. And my personal experience, as well as the guys that I work with, is that focusing that sexual sexuality on an actual physical sexual relationship and have that imprinting so strongly associated with a human being is infinitely more valuable, it's more precious, it's more wholesome, it's more fulfilling, and in the end, it'll make you more happy. So if you're ready to start with the process of giving up porn masturbation and actually living a thriving life and having a relationship that is genuine, I wanna gift to you guys a My 21 Day Reboot program. I'm gonna give it to you guys right here on YouTube for free. If you go to my website, benuyama.com, and you use my coupon code, it's B-E-N, Ben. I wanna give that to you guys. It's a 21 day reboot of actually challenging you to give up porn masturbation for 21 days on the premise, on the foundation of of having your vision set on something bigger. And I talk about this in the video that you're gonna get when you sign up for that. And it's through that process that porn masturbation, all this stuff becomes just an afterthought. It becomes an old friend that lives under your bed or in your closet, in your garage, that you just don't need anymore because it's unhealthy for you, right? So go check it out. Go to benuyama.com, put in the coupon code BEN if you wanna get it for free. If this video was helpful, I would encourage you to smash the like button because it does help more people find the video. And also consider subscribing because I'm putting videos out just like this just for you guys. And uh, consider uh, checking out other videos right here on the channel. It's good to have you. Take care.